Hello and welcome to Architect Interview Question Series. And in this series, we are covering good questions on system design, architecture, software. Let's go on to our next question. Question is, what is the use of Elasticsearch in a system? So Elasticsearch is a very good software and that's being used in many companies and enterprises. So let's see what is the use of Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is a search engine and it is used for implementing search queries in a system. So this is a very short definition. Now if you see this diagram, you have a database, you have a user and you have Elasticsearch. So what happens is that, let's say when we are searching for some products on an e-commerce website, then a lot of people are searching products and they are buying like less, right? So how do we satisfy so many searches? What we do is that, Either we search, like when we implement the search, either we implement the search on top of a database or we implement the search on Elasticsearch because the search things, they involve mostly the keywords. So like in a product item, you have certain tags, let's say men's, shirts, you know, trousers, shoes, women, like that. And then those tags you can put on each of the product and then each product has some kind of an ID. And in Elasticsearch, you just store that specific information regarding product ID and those tags. And when the user search for some search search terms, if they match with those tags and then the results will be returned. And when the results are returned, you get the product IDs from the Elasticsearch, search. And then based on that product ID, you can pick up the actual product from database, right? So that way your database doesn't has to handle the search. Ad. Database will just return the data, not the search capability. So maybe the indexing and the like, you know, the all these indices by which we maintain the search or serve the search is in the Elasticsearch, right? So that way, search operations goes to Elasticsearch, read and write goes to database. That way, you have distributed it. And this is the in like, you know, in two minutes, this is the main crux behind Elasticsearch. Search is from the Elasticsearch, and your data insert update that comes from the data. So let's go into detail more that what exactly Elasticsearch is. So Elasticsearch is a library like you know it's based on Lucene library, and Lucene is Apache Lucene, which is a free and open source search engine software. So it's like a index based library, and that was written in Java. So based on that Apache Lucene, there is Apache Solar, and then Elasticsearch, and that way we start getting behind the scene benefits of Lucene in Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch provides a full text search engine and it's through an HTTP interface. It's very fast and very generic because like it's more like a microservice, like using an HTTP interface with any language, you can get this kind of results, right? So you can integrate with any language like PHP or Java, I mean, using the HTTP interface, right? All you need is to provide a text and then it will give you the return. Right? And Elasticsearch supports distributed architecture i mean it can work in distributed system it can work multi-tenant architecture like so all these kind of different architectures that we have that are supported by Elasticsearch, especially in the enterprise when we have thousands of nodes that are serving the data and handling the traffic Elasticsearch is very useful because of these capabilities then Elasticsearch provides schema free json documents so the json documents in Elasticsearch are like you know schema free that way there are not many rules to be applied to that and it's like a much faster results that you get and that's why the Elasticsearch is very popular also among most of the companies. Another reason for Elasticsearch popularity is Java because it's implemented in Java and Java was like one of the popular language in recent times so using that it's like much easier to enhance or add certain things in Elasticsearch that you have. And it's based on open core business model. So various parts of Elasticsearch are licensed under open source licenses. So you can freely use it. And you can like, even for commercial purposes, people use Elasticsearch with great confidence. That way it's a, it's a very good product that uh, most of the enterprises, e-commerce people are using. And on extensibility side, Elasticsearch provides many clients like, I mean, they are in different languages like Java, C Sharp, PHP. So that it's easier to integrate with all these languages when you have the search requirements. You can use 
the one of those clients and integrate with their classic search and it even supports tls which is for transport layer security that is for secure and encrypted search requests because nowadays data is getting much secure so now if you want to search on sensitive or secure data then you want to go for HTTPS protocol with TLS and Elasticsearch has a support for that. Now comes the requirement where you have to visualize the results. So you can use an open source tool like, like Kibana to visualize whatever is stored in your database of Elasticsearch. You can see how much clusters are formed. And that's a very good tool to visualize the data that you have using Kibana. And you can also use Logstash or Kibana to implement end-to-end -end use cases like, so we can have some kind of a Logstash pipeline through which data can store the Elasticsearch and we can use Kibana to like, you know, visualize the data and Elasticsearch to be at the backend back that is serving these queries. So that way these whole three things form a very good architecture for your search capabilities in your whole system. So if you see here, Logstash is used as an input stream for, and Elasticsearch is used for storage and search and Kibana is used for data visualization in the dashboards. So that way these three trial is like called as Elastic Stack or ELK Stack. All right, that's all. And if you have further questions on this, do post in our channel and you can post in as a comment in this and watch more videos to learn more about system design and architecture. Thank you and have a great day.